UFC middleweight champion Israel Adesanya says that he will paint his nail for his upcoming title defense in Sydney at UFC 293 against his longtime rival Sonny Strickland. Why Adesanya going to paint his nail? Well, Sonny Strickland passed outlandish comment on Adesanya. He says, I cannot lose that guy who jerk off in front of cartoon and paint his nail. Adesanya is criticized by fans and fighters. He says, I'm going to paint my nail for that fight and I'm going to knock him out with my painted nail. Well, they had heated altercation or heated verbal war at UFC 276 while he was fighting with Gerard Cannonier. Sonny Strickland mocked him for watching anime and he said Adesanya has cartoon porn addiction. I don't know, is he? He's a solid guy. He's a good guy. I know judge his cartoon porn addiction. I'm not going to hey, be that guy. Get I don't judge it. It's called hentai. Yeah, it's called hentai. Same, same, same. Also, Strickland passed gay comment to the champion. I mean, what was it like? 2 0 against Izzy? Is he, what was it? 2 0? Did you watch the whole fight? No, I don't like Exactly, fighting. do your fucking job next time. Oh. oh man, I made the champion mad with his fucking frosted tips and his gay little watch. Oh no! The press conference between Son Strickland and Israel Adesanya is going to be very much fun. But we have to wait one more week. Norwegian soccer superstar Erling Haaland, I used to call him Erling Haaland, has predicted the fight between KSI and Tommy Fury. Haaland was guest on Impulsive Podcast and he says to KSI, you're gonna lose the fight. Do you, do you know about that? KSI fighting Tommy Fury? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, uh, I've heard of it. and. Uh... Just I've pretend seen. JJ's not in the room. Who do you think is going to win? <laughs> the other guy. Yo! <laughs> oh, I hope you score no more goals. Well, KSI still got that chance. He still had that solid elbow. If that connect one more time, the story will be definitely different. UFC President Dana White has criticized UFC bantamweight rank number two Marab Duali's will for not having desire to fight against his best friend Aljamain Sterling. This Georgian fighter made it entirely clear that he had no intention of fighting his training partner and friend Aljamain Sterling, whether that be for title fight or number one contender fight. Then what the fuck you are doing here? At least Dana White wanted to say something like that to Marab Dualiswil. Check this out. And you touched on a little bit about maybe who's next for O'Malley. I'm just wondering, what, okay. what is the likelihood that it would be Marab? I know that there's some controversy of what, him not wanting to, to fight. He wants Aljo to have the rematch. What's, the, what's your idea for that? Everybody in this room and everybody who watches this video knows how I feel about this shit. Yeah, I hate it. Hate it. And uh, if that's it, why did you even get into this sport? Yes. If that's your mentality and the way that you think. I don't even want the title. I don't even want the championship. We're friends. We're this. We're that. You can be friends with everybody in this business. There's a lot of nice people in this business. A lot of good people. This is not about friendship. This is about finding out who the best in the world is. Or you can be friend from different weight division. And if you don't want to find out who the best in the world is, this is not the place for you. You should be somewhere else. There's plenty of places to fight where they don't give a shit what you do. Doesn't work here. Whoa. Now the boss don't like it. But Marab Dualis will don't find any problem with that friendship. He tweets, I don't get what the problem is. There is no question of who should fight for the title now. It's Aljo or me. His friend and former champion Aljamain Stalin also want that a title shot for Marab Dualis will next. I think it'd be a great opportunity for Marab to get a title shot and to become the first Georgian champion. I think that'd be huge for him and his country. It'd be huge for us and our team. And of course, that would put me in limbo. I know people are going to be like, well, what does that leave you, Aljo? Maybe I stick around at 35 and take like a fight or two and then maybe I explore 45 or maybe I just go right to 45. Let's just see how things shape up before we just kind of start jumping to conclusions and getting all crazy with all this other stuff. All right, that's all for today, folks. Keep watching Combat Sport.